guys, it's Kendra from Crafty Kendra, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is bring in a piece of very vanilla that measures 5 inches by 3 inches. And we're going to bring in the branch stamp, and I don't have the stickers on it, sorry, from the Owl Occasions stamp set, along with our Early Espresso pad. Just going to ink it up and stamp it, oh, about an inch up from the bottom. And then I'm just going to bring my, well, I'm going to turn it so that I can bring my stamp image again. So I can stamp it in the same place to make sure that I get my branch really nice and dark. Just like that. Now I'm going to bring in the owl stamp from that stamp set. And using a bunch of Stampin' Write markers, I'm going to color it in. First color I'm going to use is Pool Party, and I'm going to cover in. Go ahead and zoom in for you guys. I'm going to color in the breast of the owl. Then I'm going to use Crumb Cake to do the bottom of the feet. Right, then we're going to use Knight of Navy for the rest of him, so his wings and the rest of his body. Okay, next color is going to be the color for his beak, which is pumpkin pie. For the outside of his eyes, I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. For the centers, I'm going to use basic black. And then I'm going to bring in some chocolate chip. Just pull a little bit of the chocolate chip down from the base of his legs. I'm going to huff on it to re moisten the ink. Bringing in my image sheet which I've, I just stamped the owl in a solid color. Going to place the image sheet, place the owl on the image sheet where I want him. Put the stamp image in place. And slide the image sheet away. I'm gonna hold the piece of paper in place with one of my fingers and stamp down and then just Puff on it again. Stamp down. Puff on it one more time and stamp down. This way I don't have to keep coloring him back in, but I'm getting all the little bit of ink off of my stamp. Alright, and now that I've done that, I'm going to bring in two stamps from this stamp set. 
I'm going to bring in the three little stockings and the Merry Christmas greeting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them and place them onto my clear block and just butt them up against each other so that I can stamp them at one time. Alright, to color this one in, I'm going to color the center stocking in basic gray. Then I'm going to color the plaid stocking in with gumball green. The striped stocking with Lucky Limeade. And then Merry Christmas is going to be done in Raspberry Ripple. Then I'm just going to just going to stamp it in the top left corner. Just like that. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is bring in the side of our scissors and we're just going to rough up the three edges. So we have the three edges roughed up. I'm going to bring in our card base, which is a 7 inch by 5 and a half inch piece of, of raspberry ripple. So slightly smaller than the standard card size. And it is scored at three and a half. So there's our card base. Just going to bring this piece back in and a piece of Knight of Navy which measures three quarters of an inch by five and a half. I also have a piece of the Merry Moments Simply Scrappin' Kit. We're just going to flip it over and attach some snail. And line it up against the bottom of this. Then I'm going to bring in a piece of the cardstock stickers and this is actually not one of the patterns included, it's an in-between piece, but I thought it was just perfect for what we were doing. So I'm going to use it and attach it over top. Car stock and designer series paper, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna snip off the little bit of extra. Going to attach snail to the back of this. 
and then to the back, and I messed up earlier, so the back of this piece, I'm going to center this piece onto our card, and it'll be just a, it'll, the border at the bottom will be just a little smaller, because we will be adding this strip down there. Just like that. And then we're going to bring in the Knight of Navy stitched grow green ribbon. Cutting off a long enough strip to tie a knot. slide it so it's just going over the edge of the midnight news cardstock and attach just a little bit of snail underneath to hold it into place and then I'm going to trim the tails And for the inside, I have a 5 inch by 3 inch, no, I'm sorry, a 5 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter inch piece of very vanilla. Just going to attach it using snail, center it on the inside. For our last little piece, we're going to take a scrap piece of Whisper White, and the Santa hat from that stamp set along with our Raspberry Ripple ink hat. Just going to stamp the hat and then we cut it out. And I've already gone ahead and done that. So using snail to attach, we're just going to put some snail on the back and attach it on top of our owl. And then to give it a little bit of sparkle, we're going to use dazzling diamonds on the little ball and the cuff of the hat. And uh, the Dazzling Diamonds takes a little bit to dry, so don't set anything on top of it. But that's our, that's my project for today. I hope that you enjoyed, and that's all that I have for you. Thanks for watching.